today was pretty exciting. It started with a rally outside with a couple of great local speakers, um, people that have experienced firsthand the impacts of coal dust in their community, other folks who just wanted to talk about the beautiful heritage and environment of Montana and what makes this state so great. After the rally concluded, uh, we marched in. There were close to 100 of us streaming through the doors of the Capitol building, singing and chanting. We marched to the governor's office, which is down one of the long corridors here in the Capitol, delivered the letter to the governor's staff, and then came back out to the rotunda where people sat down and started just occupying the space. It's been absolutely incredible. I mean, there's folks here from all over Montana, as well as Oregon, Washington, Idaho. I'm from Colorado. We have folks from Texas. Uh, we went around the circle this morning and people just talked about why they were here and where they're from. There were folks from Rhode Island, from Massachusetts, from West Virginia, Wales, yep, um, Illinois, people from across the country that are here to support Montanans. Um, it's a real opportunity for the State Land Board of Montana to say no and put us in the direction of a clean energy future out west. Um, on the flip side of that, it's also an incredibly dangerous precedent that we could be setting here, that we're opening up the markets for Powder River Basin coal to be sent overseas. There are just so many stories captured here. It's, a, it's an unbelievable. There are teenagers, there are folks in their mid-70s all sitting on the hard, cold, rotunda floor sharing the space together. There's been work at, uh, workshops and breakout sessions all day uh, talking about climate change, talking about coal financing, talking about every issue you can possibly imagine. There's a lot of organizing, a lot of motivation and enthusiasm and excitement for not only the next week, right here in the capital, but also what comes next. And people are pretty much ready to go that we're gonna stop coal exports in the Pacific Northwest.